Well, hello out there in YouTube land. This is Ben from Major Print, and I've got a couple of uh, things to show you here. Um, let me get my knife. It's uh, it's Wednesday, so uh, happy hump day or midday of the week, I guess. Um, let's see here. I've been just ordering some random things. Um, of course, I'm still collecting my Venom. Um, and they're in the mail, but some daredevils, some sports cards, um, movies. I've just been all over the place. Um, and I know that's why some people call me a hoarder. But, you know, that's okay. I've got this movie here. Um, $5? I want to say $5.99. $5.99. Um, now, this isn't probably everyone's favorite movie. Um... And I have a lot of the Avengers movies. Um, but this one um, is The Incredible Hulk. And for $5.99, I did not have it, so I thought I'd pick it up. Um, this is the one with uh, Ed Norton. And then there was one way before that with, uh, I don't know if how, uh, Eric uh, Bana, I believe it's called. I, I think that's his name. And actually, I sort of enjoyed that one, too. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. And this one here uh, is the same, you know. Um, I enjoy Ed Norton. I um, think he's a great actor, you know. Uh, Fight Club. Just love Fight Club. Um, and then he was in another one, what, American History X, I think. I think that was the name of it. Uh, just great movies. Just great movies. And this one was okay. Um... You know, I liked Tim Roth, uh, was the, uh, Abomination, I believe he was the bad guy, uh, and they fight each other at the end. I thought it was okay. Um, and from, uh, what I read, right, I think Ed Norton wanted, um, I think he wanted, uh, Robert Downey Jr. type money to be in the Avengers. And, you know, that role just wasn't, you know, um, as big as, as, as Tony Stark. So they declined and they hired, a, what's his name, Mark uh, Ruffalo. And he did a, I like him as Hulk too. You know, I've, I've liked all three guys as Hulk. Not great, but you know what, they're, they're worth checking out. It, it's a decent movie. And for five bucks, can't go wrong. So I picked that up. And I've got these three, uh, three comics here. Um, let me see here. This one, uh, Okay, you know I'm, I'm never sure of these of these envelopes, these white, real thin envelopes. You know, and they did write the uh, "Do Not Bend" on it, so I appreciate that. I don't know about I don't know if I would ever send a comic in these. Um, you know, this isn't a super valuable comic or anything, but you know, it just shows. Um, I don't know presentation points. I guess I don't know. This here is Daredevil. It's got some spine ticks, but um, anything for this age. Um, it's Daredevil. Let's see if it's gonna 128. And this is uh, before the Frank Miller stuff. If you can pick these old Daredevils up, you know, for I I always try and get them for under 10 bucks. This one was eight dollars. And uh, Stairway to Slaughter, uh, the Death Stalker. Uh, I think there's a movie, Deathstalker, an old, like, sci-fi, really bad acting movie. But uh, Deathstalker, you know, I love this art. I love the old art. Um, I'm not sure, 128, it says December. I don't know, late 70s? I don't know, I, I forget. But, you know, pretty good shape. Um, for 8 bucks, I'm going to pick them up. Someday I'll have to show you... Uh, my Daredevil box down here. I have a, a small box of numbers 250. What is this? 250 to 380. That's the last. Uh, 380s where the series one stops. And I have 250 to 380. And then my first box, though, my long box is supposed to go from number one to what 249. And that's about halfway. So I still need quite a few of these of these old Daredevils. But I'll keep picking them up. I think I have a few more on the way, actually, uh, for next week. 
And some sports cards. I just, sometimes, you know, I'll start thinking in my head, I'm looking on eBay, what do I want? And I'll think of a baseball player or a basketball player that I want. And I just look it up and I buy it. And I probably shouldn't. Let's see here. What is this? How do I open? Ah. For instance, Zion Williamson. Um, I'm a Duke fan for college. Uh, Coach K, I've been a Duke fan a long time. Um, and, you know, I always want... Well, I haven't always won. He's only been out a year. But Zion Williamson card. I got one coming. Um, may pick up another couple of his. Um, I don't know, investment cards or not. What is this? This came in a Gemini, so this I like. Okay. There's a, uh, it says X, so I'm guessing excellent condition. There's a, a board taped to the front of it, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is another one. Um, Daredevil. Really good shape. A couple spine ticks, but this is 1980. And this is number uh, 169. So that's this is part of the Frank Miller run. Now, if this is 80, March of 80. Wow, this other one must be mid 70s. I could do the math, but I don't really want to do that right now. Let's let's see here. Ugh. 169. Uh and yeah, this is Frank Miller. Where's his where's his signature? I don't see it, but this should be part of the Miller run. Really, just just great shape. Look at this. Colors are great. Is that bullseye? Yeah, it's bullseye. This has got to be an earlier bullseye. His name is Bullseye, and he'll keep killing them till they're all dead. This is probably a yeah, pretty early bullseye. And as you can see, even the the corners are all great. Um, couple, couple really small spine ticks. I don't know if it's going to focus it. Uh, let's see, here's one you can see right there. There you go. One spine tick. Uh, is that the biggest one? There's a couple real small ones there in the green. It's not going to show it. But, uh, really happy to get that one. Little piece of tape here and there. Okay, get the tape off of my hands. So, that's a really nice one. Glad to get that one. I think that was a little bit more. I think that was, I want to say 12, 12.50. There's no receipt, but I think it was 12.50 uh, plus shipping. So I think 15, 16 bucks. So, happy to get those two. And I got one more here for you. Let's see here. I don't know if this is more Daredevil or if it's um, something else that I ordered. Uh, this is something else I ordered. Okay. Give you a little break from Daredevil. Tape is stuck to the comic. Now this isn't a super valuable comic yet, but I don't like the tape on the actual comic or the the bag anyway. Painter's tape. I don't mind that. But now there's a sliver of painter's tape right in the middle of the bag. There we go. Let me see here. This is in really, really good shape. This is from Halloween Comic Fest. Not too sure about that. This is the reprint 
of the first appearance of Miles Morales. See right there, Halloween Comic Fest. And issue zero, issue zero right there. This isn't, isn't that expensive. The first appearance, of course, first print, um, quite expensive. And I have the two second prints. And they're even going up to, you know, close to, I've seen them for about $99. Um, but this one I got for $9.99 on eBay. And if you can find this, I would pick this one up too. Anything to do with Miles Morales is just huge. And then um, PlayStation 5 is coming out maybe by the end of the year. Miles Morales game. Um, sky's the limit for Miles Morales. So if you can pick these up, the second prints or this one right here. This comic fest, Miles Morales. Miles Morales Spider-Man. But I believe this is just a reprint of the first appearance. So, but anything with him, skyrocketing. See if you can get these for under 20 bucks. I'd grab them if I can't. If you could, I might get a few if I can find it for under 20 bucks now. But, so, that's all I've got right for right now. Um, when is, I wanted to open those Daredevils too just to see what shape they were in. And I've got some sports cards coming maybe by the end of the week. Uh, beginning of next week, who knows. But, um, just wanted to show you those. Um, and I know what, today's the first, so, um, Vantage Mystery Boxes are out. Um, IRF, I think, comes out tomorrow, or uh, that's pre-sale. I think they come out July 4th, so Saturday. Um, what, Spider-Man Boost Big One is coming up, I think, next week? I'm not sure about that. I'll have to look that up. But So lots of mystery boxes coming out there for you uh, mystery box people. I may grab one or two myself. So I just thought I'd share that with you. And um, looks like maybe uh, Riverside County, where I live, is going back on lockdown a little bit, so... Wear your masks and just be careful and be be good, uh, be excellent to one another, as Bill and Ted would say. Look forward to that movie as well. So, um, hope everyone has a great rest of the week and happy 4th of July weekend if I don't talk to you before then. And have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.